welcome to Science for This Week. Today we're going to start Lesson 4. Tomorrow we'll finish up Lesson 4. And then when we're done with that, we'll be on our review and our test later this week. Our Chapter 2 notes are done, so why don't you just put those back in your Monday folder and you can send them back um, so that we can get an awesome grade in the gradebook for you. Lesson 4. How are animals from the past like today's animals? Fossils show the kinds of animals that lived long ago. Today's animals are similar in some ways to animals of the past that have disappeared. Animals that lived long ago. Signs of past life are called fossils. Usually, only the hardest parts of the animal become fossils. A fossil is usually not the actual bone or part. Instead, it is rock in the shape of the part. A space in the shape of, of an animal in rock is called a fossil mold. Soft earth covers the remains of the animal, which wears away. This leaves a cavity or mold in the shape of the animal's parts. The earth then turns into rock over time. If the mold gets filled in with other rock materials over time, the fossil is called a cast. So this one, a cast, such as this bird-like dinosaur, is in the shape of the original fossil. It formed when a mold was filled in with rock matter over time. Now this fossil cast, at the bottom of your page, on page 54, is of a dinosaur skull. Now this dinosaur skull is really old. Your book is going to try to tell you it was 125 million years. We know that's not true, right? Remember a lot of those fossils of dinosaurs were formed in the flood. So it looks like the skull of a modern day crocodile, all right? Let's look at page 55. Long ago, this spider got trapped in sticky tree sap and it hardened into amber. So this spider is, was stuck in the middle. And then we've got this fossil. Unlike the fossil remains of most dinosaur bones, the bones of this fossil saber-toothed tiger are actual bones. So this is an actual bone that was um, kept. Animal insect, ancient insects. Some small animals or parts of animals have been found in hardened tree sap called amber. Long ago, an insect might have become trapped in the sticky sap. Soon, the sap would have completely covered the insect. Over a long period of time, the sap turned into a hard yellow or reddish brown substance called amber. Thin pieces of amber are usually clear enough to see through. What you see is the animal's actual body covering kept together for a long time, not millions of years. One other type of fossil is found in tar pits. Saber-toothed tigers and other extinct animals fell into these oily pools many thousands of years ago. The soft parts of their bodies broke down and left only the bones. These fossils are the actual bones of these animals. All right, that's where we're going to stop for today. If you're interested in some of this prehistoric stuff, feel free to check out the prehistoric animals section on National Geographic Kids. We'll pick it up tomorrow.